What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 21. My name is Emma if you're new here and I will be posting every single day leading up to Christmas. So I already have 20 vlogs out. We got five left to go. I'm very excited. This has been a ton of fun. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Today is Monday. It is my last day of work. I am taking off starting tomorrow and then our company closes between Christmas and New Year. So I'm about to have like one of the longest breaks of my working life, which I'm very excited about. That'll be super nice to spend it with the family to just relax, reset, get ready for the new year. But today is my last day of real work. And you know, I'm going to start it with a Peloton workout. I already ate this morning. I had a blueberry oatmeal and a white mocha coffee. I took a day off from vlogging yesterday because I filmed a sit down video instead. That was a ton of fun. And it was nice to just kind of have a day where I'm not constantly filming. I definitely will finish vlogmas, but I'm starting to feel a little bit of fatigue, but we're getting there. But last night, my mom and I put out these candles for Lumineer night. So I did take some footage of that because I thought that that was going to to get me in the holiday spirit so i'll play that footage now it is sunday night and it's luminarian night in our neighborhood so we like light candles in paper bags and it's supposed to signify that our house would be like a safe place for people to come i'm not really sure we did not do this when i was young but apparently it is a tradition now so i just helped my mom arrange all of the bags and now she is lighting the candles because we only have one lighter one bag and then here's all of our other bags as my mom lights them. Very pretty. The finished product, so pretty. It's still gonna get darker, so I think it'll look cooler at night. And that was a lot of fun to do with my mom. We didn't do that when I was a kid, but it definitely looked pretty. You could see our neighbors also had their lights out. It was just a magical little evening. And now it is 8.30 a.m. I'm ready to get into my workout today. And my workout today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I didn't wanna do a whole hardcore stack because I wanted to get on the bike today and I also am revisiting boxing week two. If you haven't been following along, I have done the entire week one of Peloton boxing and I did the first shadow boxing class a couple of days ago and I really, really did not like it. My two biggest complaints is you have to do a warm up and then there's another warm up in the class, which is annoying. And then we also like go over the punches, which we've learned by now. Like if you've been taking this program you learn it every single class for like 10 minutes with no new information and then I just didn't like the formats I thought the combos were kind of boring and overall it was just a really big letdown for me and after that I was like I don't know if I even want to take another boxing class because honestly I'd rather just cycle I really like to cycle but some of you guys commented and are like, it doesn't get better. Some of you guys commented and are like, try the next one. So I will give them one more chance. So I will be going back to the boxing program today. I hope you guys didn't mislead me, but we'll see. I think it is good to like give it one more shot. And then if I don't like it, I can like 100% write it off completely. So for today, I'm going to start out with 10 minute core strength by Rad Lopez from December 11th, 2021. Get my core in. You do need light and heavy weights for this. I've never seen a core class where you need heavy weights. So I am a little bit curious what we'll be doing, but it should be an interesting class. And then afterwards, I'm going to take a flash 15 class by Jess Sims from December 17th, 2021. I don't take the flash classes like super often. Basically, it's usually like cardio and strength mixed together and you're just kind of going hard for 15 minutes but I thought that this would be kind of a good workout I didn't want to do a full hardcore stack because I am going to do boxing and get on the bike so I didn't actually want to work out for two hours so I was like you know what I can just do a flash 15 get my body moving a little bit for strength before heading over to cardio and then I'm going to do it in the same order I did it last time so I'm going to cycle first and then do boxing because boxing has like a warm-up and also a cool down so it's just kind of a mess to like do it before the cycling and then cool down and then get on the bike and have to do another cool down so i'm going to be doing the 30 minute mama mia ride by christine duracle from december 17th 2021 i'm not the hugest fan of christine but I really like Mamma Mia and I think that this will be a fun ride. I think she'll do a good job with it. So I'm excited to check it out. I actually haven't done an artist series in a while 
Also on Pillow Buddy, which is an Instagram account, they said that on Christmas Day, a Taylor Swift artist series might be dropping. I would literally scream. Like, I really like Taylor Swift. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's actually true. I feel like usually Pillow Buddy has pretty good info. So, you know, fingers cross that would be awesome but after doing the mama mia ride and you know jamming out i will pop on over to the boxing program and i'll be doing week two classes four through six so class four is a five minute full body warm-up by kendall tool and this is the same exact warm-up that you do every single time that you do shadow boxing in week two feel like they probably could have created three different ones but you know whatever and I know that I don't really like it because it's kind of hard and you're like doing push-ups in it and stuff and then after that I'm going to be doing a 30 minute shadow boxing class with Rad Lopez. I did like Rad the most in week one but one of you guys said that his combos weren't very interesting but you know what just gonna have to try it. I'm trying to go in with a positive mindset. I did really like Rad before. Hopefully he does not let me down. And then to finish it off we have the five minute full body stretch by Selena Samela which is also the same full body stretch that I did last time I took it. I just feel like having the same warm up and stretching, like it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but it also feels kind of lazy when this is like a program that you put together and you're like, oh, we can't even create like three different full body stretches. I'm just surprised because usually I enjoy the programs that Peloton puts together, but this one felt like rushed, lazy, I don't really know, but I will give it another shot. And that is my workout today. It's around an hour and a half, so still a pretty long one, but I'm pretty excited for everything I have to do, and I think it'll be fun. So let's just get into it. All I did yesterday is walk with my mom. We like took a nice walk around the neighborhood, and I didn't exercise at all besides that. So I am geared up, ready to go, and let's go ride the Peloton. I just finished my workout. There was some good, there was some bad, so let's just get right on into it. I thought that the core strength class by Rad was actually pretty interesting. We did a lot of normal core moves like bicycle and like v-ups but with weights and i thought that that was just going to be impossibly hard for me but it actually didn't feel that much harder without weights and i actually felt like i had more control over my movements because my arms sometimes like flail around but with weights the movement is a lot more meaningful. So I like that class. It was different than what I was expecting, but overall I would take it again and I would recommend it. I just like when core is like a little bit different because otherwise it feels like you're doing the same thing every single day. So it's nice to like mix it up. The Flash 15 by Jess Sims. She got me at the beginning because she's like, this is going to be core focused. And I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna die because I just took a 10 minute core class, but it wasn't that bad. There were three different sets of EMOM. So every minute on the minute, and we just did that four times, so we just kept repeating it for 12 minutes straight. I like EMOMs because then you get to like have a little bit of rest compared to like AMRAPs where you just continuously go. So we did some side crunches, some toe touches, we did the swinging weight thing, and I really like to swing the weights. I think that's a lot of fun. And some other moves, I got my heart rate up. I didn't think it was like the hardest class ever. I also probably could have used like a little heavier weights, but Still a good class. I liked it a lot. Again, would take it again. Would recommend. Then the Mamma Mia ride I thought was just okay. I love the music and Christine's class structure was actually not that bad. She did a lot of long pushes, which is what she usually does. But first I thought that it was very, very easy. Like I modified a lot of the time. I believe at the end I was only in the correct resistance like 30% of the time because I just had to go way over what she was suggesting to even get like somewhat of a good workout. And then Christine also just didn't seem to be that hyped about Mamma Mia at all. I mean, I guess like 
I don't know. I just expected her to be more excited and like talk more about the musical, but she didn't really talk about it that much. Like she talked about ABBA a little bit, but besides that, like we were just listening to the music and the music was really good. Otherwise I would not like this class at all, but the music was enjoyable. So if you really like Mamma Mia and you just want to have a chiller class where you're cycling to the soundtrack, then I would take this class, but don't expect it to be some like over the top presentation where she actually seems like she really, really enjoys Mamma Mia, which is interesting because I just always wonder how these like themed rides are assigned to instructors, if they volunteer to teach them or if they just get assigned. Overall, not a bad class, but I want to say it was a good class, solid, medium, and I feel like it had potential, but oh well. Still better than the boxing. So I definitely tried to go in this with a better attitude and I kind of knew what to expect. I feel like last time when I went into it, I had very different expectations than what actually happened. So I was very unhappy. So I went into warm up knowing what the warm up was going to be like, that it was just going to be like a strength cardio class. Did that five minutes. It was fine. Started the Rad Lopez boxing class. And for the first like five minutes, he literally just talks about punches. So then my heart rate drops dramatically because I'm just basically standing there. And we already know the punches because we're in this program that we've taken so many classes up until this point. And then he does like a little bit of a warm up and then we actually get into the combos. And his combos were so boring. I think that we didn't get into anything that was not a jab cross until there was like 14 minutes left in the class. There was like seven minutes of warm up, but so the first nine to 10 minutes, we did only jab cross, which was incredibly boring. At one point, I just started making up my own combos to do because I was so bored. And then we would do like random transition exercises. And he's basically like, yeah, this is just to keep your legs like active because you need to be ready in boxing. And I just thought that that was stupid. Like they should make separate classes that are like strength for boxing and then put those in that class. Like I don't need to do squat during a shadow boxing class and I feel very very strongly about it. I do not like the transitions at all. We finally got into adding some hooks and uppercuts but it was just very boring. It was only one combo that we just kept building on and at the end of the 30 minute class it was literally jab cross hook cross duck duck uppercut uppercut and that's it. That's all we learned the entire class. So eight consecutive moves and we didn't learn anything else so it was just very boring I considered quitting during the middle of it because I was so bored but I was like I don't want to get on the bike again and I still want to get like a little bit of a workout in so yeah I just kind of made up my own moves and then also tried to follow him but overall this is definitely not for me I will not be taking any more Peloton boxing classes. I feel like I've given it more than a chance and it's just not been for me. I don't enjoy it at all. And it's really sad because I thought in week one we were really building up to something, but I honestly think the combos we worked on with Rad in week one were more interesting and harder than what we're doing in week two with shadow boxing. And then the five minute stretch with Selena was fine. Like I don't have any complaints about a stretch. I'm not going to be that bitter, but overall, this will be the end of talking about boxing. I'm not going to be doing the third boxing class. I can't get through it. This was a huge disappointment to me. I think that Peloton could have done a lot better with this. And I don't really understand because all of these instructors are boxers. So I get that they want to introduce you to boxing, but I just felt like it was very repetitive and not fast paced enough for somebody that has no boxing experience. Like it's not like I had boxing experience before this and I'm taking this. At the end of the day, I just don't feel like I learned that much and he wins some, you lose some, but I think this was one of the more poor offerings that Peloton has come out with like they've done bar and pilates and even though those aren't like my biggest cup of tea i can acknowledge that i think that they were done well at least but this not a fan so that was my workout for today it's kind of a bummer that i didn't like the boxing but at the end of the day it's not that bad i just know now in the future i'll be doing strength and cycling only so that is okay with me so now i'm going to wash my hair and then take a shower do a little bit of work and I'll see you guys at lunchtime. For lunch, I have two different things as you can see. So we got pizza yesterday. So I have leftover pizza, which obviously very good, but also wanted to get some fruit in and just two pieces of pizza wouldn't be filling enough. So I made a little smoothie. Haven't had a smoothie in a while. It's just one half frozen banana, one cup blueberries, and then probably like a cup and a half of almond milk. 
I don't use protein powder anymore. I've explained it. Basically, I think it breaks me out. So this is it. This is the spread for today. I am hungry, let's eat. I just finished lunch, and if you've been watching all of my Vlogmases, you know that we have a very special charcuterie board coming up. We're actually not sure if we're gonna do it Christmas Eve or Christmas Day yet, but it is coming, and I got this as a gift in Secret Santa. It's a charcuterie board. I did ask for it, and my favorite thing about it, actually, is that it comes with, like, all the little knives in the board as well. I think that this is super, super cute, but I looked it up and you need to prep wooden boards that like are gonna get washed so they don't crack later in life. Like basically, if you don't do anything, you can still wash it, but it's going to crack. So I want this to remain in good condition because you know, I don't see this as my last charcuterie board I ever make. So I am very excited. My mom has gotten many cheeses now. She's been looking out for all the coupons, but basically I Googled what to do to like take care of a board. And it said to take mineral oil and rub it all over the board and then let it set for like a long time. So I'm gonna do it now and then I'll wash it off tomorrow. If you don't have a full day, it's okay, but I do have a full day. So I'm just gonna let it sit and then I'll wash it off tomorrow. And then my charcuterie board should be all ready to just have all the little nice cheeses and meats on it during Christmas. So that is exciting. I'm actually undecided if I want to rub in oil onto these little like forks and knives, but I think that I'll just leave it for now. And then when I wash them, try not to get the wooden part wet but I'm not completely decided. So if you have any opinions, let me know. I just want this to last like as long as possible. I get nervous because I got Chris a cutting board once that was wooden and we didn't know how to take care of it. And then it got like super gross really fast and we had to throw it away and it was sad. So I don't want it to happen with this. I'm learning my lesson. So I guess let's just put on some mineral oil. It also is just like put on an even amount and I have no clue like what the correct amount is. So hopefully this goes semi-well. I honestly don't even know what's the best way. Like, I guess I'm gonna take it and try to... Oh, I am nervous. Okay. Okay, I just put on a lot. That should be a good amount. And it said to take just a paper towel and kind of rub it around. But if you guys have any more tips on how to take care of wooden things that you put food on, please let me know. Because my parents have never done anything like this either. They just don't have any like wooden stuff. I'm worried like about the sides. So I guess I'll just have to like wash it off with one side. It shouldn't get that dirty with cheeses on it. But I don't know, if you have any tips, let me know. But I'm pretty much gonna call this done for now. I applied the oil and online it also said to do this like kind of frequently. It depends on how much you use it. Like the person online is like, oh, I do it every single month. But he was talking about a wooden cutting board and I'm not gonna use this like that much, but we'll see. For now, I think first application went well. It doesn't look that different, but you can kind of see like the oil sitting on top. And then tomorrow I just take like a warm washcloth or paper towel and wipe it down and it should be good to go. So charcuterie prep for the day, done. It is now just before dinner and I'm here with my mom to talk about her Peloton ride today. So how was it? What did you take? I did a 30 minute holiday vacation ride with Robin R. Zone from this year, from December 15, 2021. And what did you think of it? It was okay. I, I, <laughs> for some reason, I do much better with the male instructors. I find even found her to be distracting and. What, just because um, she talks a lot? Talks a lot. I like you know, her talks. Of, I think she's really motivating. A I lot think... of upper body movement. Yeah. <laughs> I think Robin is the most like charismatic instructor. I find that uh, you know there's just too much time of just cycling at one flat road. I I wish there yeah. were more bursts. I do better with more bursts. I have higher output, so it, it was good. I probably liked her the best out of the the female instructors that have done the holiday rides with so far, but 
think I have an Allie Love one coming up, so we'll, we'll right, check that well, one out. Let me know. I think I'd probably like the Allie Love. The oh, best. no, I have uh, the um, Anna Frank Frankson. Oh, uh, I like her, too. Yes, yeah, so I think that I have her tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, that was from last year, but I'm going to do her tomorrow. All right. So I'll well, report back. Sounds good. You're right. Luca has been grinding away. <laughs> for dinner we got some leftover rice and broccoli and then dumplings of assorted kinds and then this arugula salad kind of a leftover night slash clearing out of the freezer there was an onion mix-up situation an onion shortage yeah so you're gonna have soup but maybe tomorrow now and then my mom got me a chick-fil-a milkshake earlier but i didn't want to drink it like at 3 p.m when she brought it home so i put it in the freezer and now i got it out to defrost it a little bit so i figure by the time i'm done with this this will be more milkshake uh consistency so not the fanciest meal, but it will taste good. And with that, I'm going to wrap up Vlogmas here. But before I wrap it up completely, I thought I'd talk about my Peloton cooldown. One of y'all commented and asked me to cover it. Honestly, I didn't know if I was going to say anything about it because I feel like it's not that interesting. I honestly feel like Peloton could have done a way better job in these cooldown stats. I just feel like it didn't really tell me anything that I didn't already know. I would have appreciated some more fun statistics. I will give out a shout out to Pelotrend. It's a website. I did it in one of my videos where I like reflect on how long I've been on the Peloton and give tips. But basically you import your workout data from Peloton and the website actually gives you a lot of interesting data like how many times you've ridden with your favorite instructor, just like all sorts of data, like the earliest ride you've ever done, the latest ride you've ever done, really anything that you can think of and you can really visualize your output over time. I will link it down below. Really great website if you want to see like more data about your Peloton experience. For my Peloton cooldown, my year in review, I assume that this ended late November, but I'm not exactly sure. It says I cycled for 210 hours and I went 1,926 miles. Now that statistic is messed up a little bit because for about half the year I was riding on my echelon. So the hours is right, but the mileage is not because whenever I was on the echelon, it wouldn't actually count towards my Peloton miles. And then I was in the top 10% of bike users. It seems like on the Facebook group, a lot of people were, but I'm sure it's just because like active users also participate in the Facebook group and etc. Like people that are active on the Peloton, a lot of my viewers were probably all in the top 10% because there's a lot of people that have the Peloton and don't cycle a lot at all. I had 266 active days and my longest streak was a 20 day daily streak. This makes sense to me. I used to try to ride every single day, but now I really value rest days. And honestly, I'm surprised that it is even that long. It must have been from the beginning of the year because now I'm pretty good about taking at least one rest day a week. My total minutes is 17,681 minutes, but I'm like almost at 19,000 now. So that's definitely not the full year. Ben is my top instructor. Surprise, surprise. My top output was 804 kilojoules on a 90 minute power zone endurance ride. And I got 654 badges, which just shows that they give you badges very, very freely on the Peloton. And they also had my like top artist series rides, which I don't even know if that meant like most output or most amount of rides that I took with that artist series. But I had all kinds of people like the Beatles, Beyonce, Justin Bieber. So I didn't even record it because I I just felt like it wasn't meaningful at all and that was my entire year in review. I wish they could have given more details and made it a little more fun but hopefully this is like a stepping stone. I don't remember if they did it at all last year so I'm hoping like next year they really like step it up and bring an even better year in review. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 21. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had an awesome Monday and I'll see you in my next video which is tomorrow. Bye!